Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 6, Chapter 2, Verse 34. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Sakam Vihayasa Vipro Mahapuru Shokun Karai. Aiman Vimanam Aruya. Yayo Yasra Sriyam Patiti. Translation, accompanied by the early carriers of Lord Vishnu, Ajami boarded an airplane made of gold. Passing through the airways, he went directly to the boat of Lord Vishnu, the husband of the goddess of fortune. So forth. For many years, material scientists have tried to go to the moon, but they are still unable to go there. However, the spiritual airplane from the spiritual planets can take one back, one back to that in a second. The speed of such a spiritual plane can only be imagined. Spirit is finer than the mind, and everyone has experienced how, and how swiftly the mind travels from one place to another. Therefore, one can imagine the swiftness of the spiritual phone by comparing it to the speed of the mind. In less than even a moment, a perfect devotee can return home back to Godhead immediately after giving up his material body. From the Gyan to Midam Dasya, Gyan or Gyan or Salaka, Taksun Navitam Yenakas, my Shri Virajana Maha, Mahum Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutiwe, Sri Mati Bhakti Vedanta, Smani Nikimamane. Namaste, Jaraswati Devi Devi, Bhagavad Gita, Chapter Number Six, Verse Three. What's that? Two days to carry on, one to go back to the hotel. Keep on doing the story, but you have to keep on doing the job. Never end up. Jai Sri Krishna, Jai Tanya, Jai Tanya. We are going to get out of this and back to the door, back to the door. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare. So, I think that's it. Here we're hearing about the good fortune of Ajahnya, which is vindicated from his reactions of sinful activities due to chanting the holy names of the Lord Narayan without offending, he is now going back to the abode of the Lord. And here, Prabhupada wants to make the point of the quality of spirit compared to matter. Many persons today pride themselves in going speedy from one place to another according to the type of vehicle they have. Planes can drive, can go 700, 800 miles an hour. And a car goes 180, 200 miles an hour. They made a car nowadays that I saw it, and they tested it in Africa. I needed a particular area where they could speed. And so they, 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 they cleared the 12 mile area. And this cat, car can travel up to 1,000 miles an hour. Car. It's not shaped like a regular car, but it's a land vehicle with wheels. Uh, no one has been able to go that fast because that speed would kill the person inside. But they've gone up to 500, 600 miles an hour, or 700 miles an hour in a land vehicle. Planes, similar. Um, trains, they speed along at hundreds of miles an hour. But here, this is 
simply quite slow <laughs> in comparison to the speed of light. The speed of light is 186,000 miles per second. The speed of the mind is even faster. Now, if I would give the example, you're sitting in one place and you want to, and your mind reflects on a place that is 10,000 miles away. And as soon as the thought appears about that place, you're there. And one can travel 10,000 miles in, in about a second. But here we have something even faster, the speed of spirit, which can, cannot be compared to anything. It's described in many places in the Bhagavatam that when a pure devotee leaves the material world, their return to the spiritual world is simultaneous. It's so fast that there is no speed measurable. You're in one place, and then you're in another place simultaneously. That's how fast it is. You know, and of course, that is for the pure devotee. People who are sinful, they are brought to Yamaraj. And for an extended period of time, they have to undergo various types of Christ Chitta atonement through the process of su accepting suffering from the subtle level. And it takes them sometimes weeks or even months to complete the process before they get into their next body. And this is illustrated. The, long, the more sinful the person is, the longer it takes for them to receive their next body. And when it's pure devotee, there's no, there's no measurable time by which they return to the spiritual world. So all of this is orchestrated under the Parashya Sakti did a higher senior pace for Bhagavad Gita. For Lakri Achai, Krishna has many energies. And his pastime energy for his devotee works in such a way as that he brings the devotee back to him instantaneously. You might think, well, that's Sounds good, but it's not true. The Vatsi are among examples of persons who immediately left their body and go back to the spiritual world. So Ajamil, because of his purity, which had been attained by the mercy of the Holy Name, he was able to and we turn back to the spiritual world. But we'll see later on that he had to go to a place called Hardwar. I think that's mentioned in the previous verses. And then he left the world from Hardwar after doing a final purification. The devotees guaranteed guarantee to go back to the spiritual world. If one continuously stays fixed in the process of devotional service, as one stays fixed in bhakti through the, through the descriptions guided by proper sadhana, hearing, chanting, remembering, worshiping the Lord, then gradually one qualifies themselves to return to the spiritual world instantaneously. There's no more time period of simple instantaneous because that is the nature of devotion to a Krishna. Devotion to Krishna, from the material point of view, is a, uh, it looks like something that people do in the material world. But when it's performed, the same activity is performed for Krishna. It brings one back to Krishna quickly due to the connection with the spiritual enemy, Daivi Krishna. Daivi Esha Gunhi Mama Mama Daya Daya. 
this material energy is very difficult to overcome, but one who's fixed in devotion is certainly can easily pass the crossing. And it says the comparison is just like um, we're sitting in one place, and then the next minute we're in another place. It's not even a minute, it's instantaneous. And this is the mercy of Krishna to the spiritual energy. And we get a little idea of how fast that is by comparing it with the speed of the moon, which we can all understand. By moving the mind in different directions, we're going to that particular place. We don't stay in one place because our minds are always moving from place to place. And one will achieve the mercy of the Lord while staying fixed in devotion and service. So here, Prabhupada wants to make that point, the swiftness of the period. Hajimil was fortunate because somehow or other he named his son Orion. It's mentioned in other places that one day when Sadhu came to his home when he was away and he met his wife, the wife was obviously pregnant. And the Sadhu gave blessings to the wife saying that when the son is born, we should name him Narayan. And so she communicated that to her husband, Ajamyo, and he immediately accepted it coming from a sadhu. That sadhu was sent by Krishna himself in order to give him that special mercy. That mercy is that he was able to remember Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Jaffa. In his different forms. Material scientists, they are making attempts to go to the moon. Now they're talking about Mars and other planets. But Prabhupada said, and he was in sound, he, he actually had an interview in 1969 in Los Angeles, where he said they never went to the moon. If they went anywhere, they went to the dark planet known as Rahu. Rahu is a dark planet, and uh, but even that's questionable because each of these planets you have to qualify yourself to enter into. One cannot just go, just like the example is given if you want to travel from one country to another, you have to have, to have passport, you have to have visa, which allows you to travel. So to think that I can go to any planet simply by some mechanical means is ludicrous. Even if the mechanical means were, were competent to bring you there, you could not go in because you would have to be led in by the people who live there. In other words, it's only done by permission. Hey, Krishna. Hey. Uh, okay, any, yeah. any, uh, let me see. Go down the page and let's see what else we have. Let's go to the next verse. Verse number 45. Evam sabi plavita sarvadharmam dasapati patito driham karmana. Ajamya was a Brahmana who, because of bad association, have given up all dominical culture and religious principles. Becoming most fallen, he stole, drank, and performed other abominable acts. 
He even kept the prostitute. Thus, he was destined to be carried away to hell by the other carriers of Yamuraj. But he was immediately rescued simply by a glimpse of the chanting of the holy name of Narayana. So here it indicates the power of the holy name, that it can relieve one from most abominable forms of sinful activities, even if it's chanted, uh, what we say, unconsciously. Jamil was calling his son, he wasn't calling the lion. But he made, he chanted the name Narayan and he chanted in a, in a offenseless way. And because of that offenseless chanting, the holy name purified him from all his sins. And at the same time, gave him a chance to return to the spiritual world. So this is indicating of the quality and power of the chanting of the holy name. Krishna's name is Krishna. Krishna's name is fully endowed with all the qualities of Krishna. As Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Nija Sarva Shaktis, that all the qualities, names, forms, pastimes, and uh, entourage, everything is in the holy name of the Lord. So as one chants, one unravels that great treasure of many benefits that are there in the holy name. And of course, the first benefit is one is protected from the influence of material energy. And so Ajamil was destined to suffer tremendously in hell. But simply by this unconscious chanting, which is quite miraculous, he was he uh, <laughs> purified himself from all sinful actions and got the chance to uh, worship the Lord as Patita Parana. Okay, so the holy name can never be underestimated. One should practice chanting as much as possible. Whether you feel like it or not, the, ch the whole chanting of the holy name is the means for self-realization and age, it connects the life to Krishna, it gives one clear understanding of how to live life, and it empowers one with transcendental knowledge. It is Krishna himself, it's the highest form of sacrifice. It cannot be compared to any other forms of religious practice. And it is all auspicious. It's not I mean, the name is not material. The name is already liberated. The name is Supreme Personality of the God of Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, so glories of the holy name. Okay. Uh, the story, pastime of Ajamil is very indicated of the glories of the holy name. And one should understand that there is no more powerful and direct process. No matter what simple activity the person has committed, if they sincerely and seriously think to the chanting of the holy name, all of the reactions of those simple activities will be dissolved by the power of the chanting of the holy name. And of course, we the name Narayan is the name of, of the Supreme Lord in the Vaikuntha realm. We are chanting the name of Krishna, which is the name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead in his feature as Krishna, or the original Supreme Deity, Govindam Adi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. Because of that, chanting of the name of Krishna, one can not only purify themselves, but one can attain to the highest realm of spiritual practice, which is to associate with Krishna in the spiritual world and his various activities in Sri Vrindavan Dharm, according to one's nature, either, either, either as a friend, a parent, a servitor, or even one in conjugal love with Krishna. So all of these are available 
through the purification of the heart when we chant the holy names of the Lord. So uh, the, the Lord is, the name of the Lord is not only very powerful, it's also very merciful. It allows one to free themselves from the effects of one's spiritual pride. So chant. <laughs> okay, so we can uh, let me stop here and open it up for questions. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your wonderful classes always. It's always very inspirational. Thank you always for reinforcing the power of the holy name, Maharaj. And um, devotees, please go ahead, unmute yourself. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Hare Krishna. The Ramaniam. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I forgot to change it to Sukhakar Krishna. Sorry, Maharaj, I should not use my name. Subarman is already dead. It's only Sukhakar Krishna. Sorry, Maharaj. Sorry. Uh, actually, uh, your class was very fantastic. You are told that uh, the power of Narayana uh, is actually saved. Uh, even the person he chanted unconsciously. Actually, it, what I thought is, uh, some of the good tunes which are coming, I'm not able to chant 24 hours, but some tunes, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. Like this, I'm chanting this whole day. Under Guru Chan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. I'm doing the two hours, the three hours, 25 rounds chanting. But balance time, I'm just humming this. So it is not chanting, it is just Kirtan. So I'm not able to chant so many times. But maybe I'll chant around maybe 200, 300 times from morning till night. Is it also okay the taking the holy name throughout the day by taking bath, by eating, every time I'm trying to eat? I just yeah. want your suggestion. The holy name is absolute. You, in any way you chant it, obviously there is spiritual elevation and benefit. And when you do kirtan, it's very pleasing and it's beneficial to others because they're here. But along with that, the process that has been given to us by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vinayi Swami, which is very strictly okay. by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that we do Japa and Kirtan. So we make an, a numerical vow and agree to chant so many rounds per day. And that will fix the mind on the lotus feet of the Lord. And then we should do Kirtan also. So both of them are required for the Lord of the Shadows. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, although we hear, and spent a lot of time in Kirtan, he also chanted the Japa. Uh, there are many. Yeah, tw tw 20 rounds I'm chanting, Maharaj. Every day, 20 rounds I'm chanting in the morning. From morning 4 30 to 6 30. After that, I'm just doing this. Kirtan, yeah, perfect. You're doing. Thank you, Maharaj. Yeah, so continue. And it's natural to want to increase as we continue to chant. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. We increase the rounds. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You know, it becomes almost natural. We start chanting and then we don't we stop. <laughs> okay. I'll try to yeah, do 64 rounds and then. 64 <laughs> rounds and try to chant and then do balance time. Yeah, well, I'm saying you have to do 64 rounds. I'm saying that... Uh, the holy name works in such a way is that when we develop a taste for chanting, it's automatic that we chant more. Uh, it's just a feature of our happiness in chanting. We want to chant more. It's just natural. Okay. As Dr. Prabhupada said, when you're chanting Hare Krishna, you'll think, why 16 rounds? Why not 16,000? 
So that's a direct quote. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in other words, Chen is so, so pleasing. Why do anything else? <laughs> it's just so nice because it's Krishna and the sound and we're associating with the Supreme Personality of Bhakti. And the mind is becoming fixed. The body, we, lose, we lose awareness of what's happening with our body. We, we're just fixed on the sound vibration. We forget about eating. We forget about sleeping. So that comes by development of our practice of chanting and by executing the process of bhakti accordingly. While while uh, the night sleeping, I'm trying to give sleep to Krishna, and I, I sing as if he's Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. As if I'm giving him sleep, then I have to keep singing and sleep. I don't know whether I'm sleeping, I'm singing, I don't know, but I try my best, Maharaj. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you, Maharaj. I seek your blessing. I seek your blessing to chant more, Maharaj. Your Prabhupada disciples are empowered and you are a pure devotee. I need your blessings, Maharaj. Please, I need your blessings. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that verse? Yena kena paka reina. Mana kishnige. Yena kena paka reina. Mana kishnige. Mana kishnige. Mana kishnige. Mana kishnige. Yes. Thank you, Maharaj. Thanks for your blessings. Then you are. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj. Um, Jyoti Mataji, would you like to unmute yourself and go ahead? Hare Krishna, then would pranam Maharaj. My question is, uh, there is a stage when uh, the sleep and the eating, uh, means the amount of eating and the amount of sleep that we require, it will get reduced by devotional services and the chanting and everything is included in that. So when that stage will come and how to uh, come to that level where the sleep will be reducing or the energy will be increased. When will that stage come? How I should that, that happens automatically. <laughs> it doesn't happen by you know by you have some ideas when it's going to happen. It happens automatically. And how does it happen? Is that one forgets about bodily activities and becomes absorbed in chanting and in devotional service. The Goswamis, yes. they're only sleeping one or two hours a day and eating a little more than a pat of butter and maybe some, some chickpeas. The reason why is that they just, they, they, were, they forgot to eat, they forgot to sleep because they were so busy in devotional service. Well, that's a very high stage of bhakti. But it comes as you develop a higher taste. And the higher taste comes by practicing the chanting of the holy name and service to the Vaishnavas. So we don't have to mechanically try for it. It will automatically manifest. Just like a flower will come into bloom at a certain point. At one point, you can't even see the flower. And then soon it's a bud. And then the bud turns into a blossom. And gradually, and due course of time, it's the flower appears. Same with a woman, she has, she becomes pregnant. And then, although the child is there, but the child hasn't matured enough to actually come out. But at one point, the child comes out. So uh, nothing extraneous has to be done to make it happen. You just stay fixed in your devotional service. It will happen automatically. Guru Maharaj Ji, there is one more question. Uh, uh, what was the struggle that you faced in the bhakti uh, for the balancing of the 
devotional services or chanting how we have maintained the balance while doing the devotional yeah because i i spend a lot of time traveling and preaching and that takes up a lot of time and so to find time to make sure i uh, i set aside the early morning hours simply for chanting and try to finish my rounds before i do anything else i prescribe rounds and then i'll add some more rounds throughout the day accordingly but i find i can do more and stay connected with the holy name if i chant 16 rounds as the first thing in the morning so i find it it's a formula that works for many people i'm here in delhi right now and i'm talking i'm talking to some people i just met for the first time and i met one young girl she's i don't know she's no more than 20 years old she's chanting 64 rounds a day you wouldn't think of it just looking at her she's very simple humble very un- unassuming personality but she chants 64 rounds a day and she does it all early so emphasizing sadhana means emphasizing early sadhana chant first thing and keep chanting until you finish your prescribed number you can always chant more throughout the day thank you so much guru maharaj ji dhanwad pranam hari krishna jyoti hari krishna hari krishna devotees feel free to unmute yourself and also feel free to turn on your videos if you have questions it will be great maharaj can also see you i have one um of a quick comment from sukhava prabhu to everybody hari krishna guru maharaj please accept my humble obeisance as all glories to shila prabhu pada thank you for reminding about the glories of holy name of the lord thank you prabhu ji for your comments hare krishna jan 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Guru Maharaj ji, can I ask one question? Who's that? Who's speaking? Mataji, announce Jyoti your name. Jyoti Mataji. Again, okay. Guru Maharaj Ji, there is uh, accountability in bhakti. Uh, I, and uh, the, and try to be accountable for whatever services we do. So, there is need of conveying it. but i don't want to get noticed so how to do that um you don't want to get nervous <laughs> all right just don't make any plans to get noticed <laughs> just chat your own and between you and krishna <laughs> if you get noticed then you can't help it sometimes most of most of us want to get noticed so therefore we get noticed but if you have the desire not to get noticed the question will help you not to get noticed Ch- 
Do you have any questions? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Maharaj, can I? Uh, Maharaj, is a good one question, Maharaj. Now, as per the chapter eight, chapter eight, uh, uh, text five, Antakale Chama Meva Smaran Mukta Kalevaram, Yaprati Samadvavam, Yati Natati Samsa. Krishna has told Arjuna that at the time of death, if you remember me or you chant my name, you'll come back to me. So, if somebody is dying in the sleep, in the sleep, normally we are not chanting. Unless we are remembering Smaranam, we don't know. So, what is the solution for that? About the last breath is while sleeping. How to secure that time? That's up to church. So don't worry about that one. What can you do? As long as we are following four regulative principles and chanting and trying to serve the Vaishnavas and don't do any aparad. So, even if you sleep, Krishna will somehow make us remember. No? That is the only. Krishna is very merciful. He sees your sincerity. If you're sincere and you're trying, you'll get his mercy. And if you're trying to chant, he will always help you to understand how best to approach the Holy Spirit. Everything is based on sincerity. Sincerity means I'm not trying to get anything for myself. I'm trying to serve uh, Krishna. Selfless and no duplicity. Selfless and no duplicity. Yeah. No, du duplicity means, you know, I present myself in one way and look, and I have something uh, in my agenda going in the background. It's inner purification. Yeah, I'm trying to be noticed as a very advanced devotee. I'm trying to be uh, praised for whatever accomplishments I've done in devotion and service. Whatever position I may hold. The devotee is happy simply by purifying their heart. The process of chanting the Holy Name. We should look at Krishna, we should look at devotional service as an adventure to achieve something. So achieving something that you have to plan and you also have to work to make the plans manifest. So I want you might say, I want to go back home. What do I have to do to go back home? And you understand what you have to do and then you execute those things with the proper attitude. Maharaj, how to do more jiv there? That is how to increase the number of uh, um, helping jivas to get connected to Krishna consciousness. We are calling sometimes and talking about how any any process is there because you have been preaching all over the world. You have some plans. You're, you're in India, right? Yeah, in, in Chennai. Chennai. We were just talking today with some devotees that the preaching in India is so so much that anytime, anywhere, you can always find some opportunity to preach. So many, so many things available. You just have to do a little uh, research and you'll find there's programs, there's seminars, there's, there's uh, temple programs, there's yatras, there is uh, sanghas at people's houses, talk to rickshaws. You can always start something and as soon as you start something, people will come. Maybe some Lions Club and all go to some Lions Club, the retired people, old people are there, just go and take some time out and 10 minutes tell them something about the process. Yeah, make them, make them make a real lion. They should become a real lion, not just this Lions Club. The real lion is, is someone who who is very enthusiastic to get the best in life, <laughs> which is Krishna. Yes. The lion is still the king, of, king of the jungle. So make them king mm. of their own life. So they can rule. They can rule. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we still don't understand the power of chanting and the glory of chanting, the benefit of chanting Hare Krishna. We just do it as a function. But it shouldn't be done that way. It should be done as something that is the difference between life and death. Mm 
Right. Actually, our honorable, honorable Prime Minister had been to Chennai a few years back to meet Karunan V. So I got a chance to meet him and talk to him because Amit Shah's son is my friend. So I told Modi ji, Kham Chau Su Khabar, I spoke in Gujarat. He said he liked, then I sang one Krishna song. So he said, Bo fine che. So I told uh, Modi ji one request, if you can make all your ministers to chant one round before you start the day. He said, uh, we will plan it out. He just told him. Uh, Mr. Modi, he is, a, he, is a, he is a member of the Sri Sampradaya. He follows... Oh, he's, he's, from Shri, he's from Sri Sampradaya. Yeah. He's connected with the Sri Sampradaya. Okay. Yeah. I've seen him do pujas and being honored at the Sri Sampradaya temples. Oh. He doesn't hide his devotional life. He's a good man. Because uh, one of the Raghunath Mara disciples has made one devotee, the railway minister, Ganit or somebody, I forgot his name. So he's chanting four rounds. So like that, we have to reach the top level. So through them, the whole India will chant. Through the yeah. minister. And they have so much, they have so many friends and so many associates, mm. influence, like so many people. Because when they say yad yad charity straight stuff that that age you know, you know yad yad from Guru Tey Lokas Tana and Vishnu Tey whatever done is by the great men all men follow the stage whatever standards they step by exemplary actions all the world pursues so when great men do something great others get away Nitin Gadkar is chanting his family is chanting Adhanath Maharaj disciple has gone and Made him friendship, he's been four rounds. Nitin Gadkari. Good. Yeah, he's done, he's worked a lot with these big people. Yeah. He, he met Mr. Modi two different times. The Shavari of Mercy, Maharaj, you have blessings. He <laughs> must be. Hare Krishna, good manners. Please accept my humble obeisance. Uh, good manners, um, my question may sound silly, but uh, I, it's been there on my mind. Um, as I'm following this Ajamila pastime, so <clears throat> this person <clears throat> has a previous pious life before meeting the prostitute. After that, uh, until his death, he didn't get any chance to meet any pure devotee or uh, anybody else who can transform him or remind him about the devotional service or the bhakti path. So uh, why is it uh, like that, Gurmaraj? Like uh, Krishna didn't ha has a plan like that or um, what is it actually? So he didn't get any chance until he with us came um, uh, or until the end. Yeah, it, it he, this is to illustrate the glories of the Holy Name. Despite his sinful activities throughout his whole life, he chanted unconsciously in the Holy Name of Narayan, and he chanted in Nama Bas without any desire to free himself from the reactions of sinful activity. He chanted in a state of helplessness. This, this particular pastime is very illustrative of the glories of the Holy Name, and that's why it's given such prominence in the Bhagavatam. It's considered one of the most important pastimes in the Bhagavatam because it teaches the glories of the Holy Name and the mercy of the Holy Name. So, um, yeah. So Ajamil, he went through whatever he went through, but still it's, it's placed in the Bhagavatam as something we all can learn. Hmm. <clears throat> it's good marriage. So, um, because uh, this is all, uh, this all happened in Satyuga or in that uh, time. Um, but um, even then, he didn't get any chance until he chanted the holy name and um, and then go back to Godhead later. Um, but what about us, Guru Maharaj? We are in this Kali Yuga and uh, uh, we are trying something um, to do. Uh, to uh, please um, um, 
uh, your holiness and also krishna um, but um, so what is we, why do we consider ourselves less fortunate we are most fortunate we come in contact with Srila Prabhupada Bhuvan and Lord Chaitanya mission. If we think ourselves and say, oh, we can't be as good as the ones that are, then we are limited. We're, we're, actually, we're actually cutting ourselves off from the mercy. Mukhan Karoti Bachalam Pandu Lagate Skirun Yatripa Sharaham Bande Shivarun Dinatarinam. That by the mercy of the great souls, one can perform great activities beyond one's even imagination. So uh, that's why Prabhupada said, try to do something big for Krishna. <laughs> Don't become ordinary devotees who just chant Hare Krishna and read a few books. <laughs> that's not our program. Our program is is to uh, do something big for Krishna. Think of how to do that. Yes, Krishna. If you're young, you have energy. You're young, young, you got resources. If you're old, and you can still do something. You can be an example for everyone. Hmm. Remember yourself. People would always say, oh, I'm so tall. And Prabhupada said, well, just get up. <laughs> Stop <laughs> being tall. That's just an excuse not to do anything. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, Mataji. I have some wonderful comments from some Matajis here on the chat. Um, Megha Mataji, she's saying, Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to Guru and Gauranga. Thank you so much for your simple yet very powerful class. We must chant attentively and with eagerness and helplessness. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Mata. O son of Maharaj Nanda Krishna, I am your eternal servitude. Somehow I've fallen into this ocean of birth and death. Please pick me up from this ocean of death. Place me as one of the atoms at your lotus feet. One is seeing one's position as being overwhelmed by the, the waves of material energy. Praying to take shelter of Krishna's lotus feet and begging for the mercy. And that way one becomes qualified to uh, receive Krishna's shelter. If we think we're all right, then we're in, we have a problem. <laughs> Material energy can squash you in a second. <laughs> Prabhupada said, just like you walk along the ground, you see some bugs on the ground. If you want, you can simply step on them. Finish. Of course, you don't do it as a devotee. But... It's there. Baba said, the demigods, if they want, they can just crush you like a insect. <laughs> You're so insignificant. But if you take shelter of Krishna, then nothing can affect you. And you become empowered to serve the Lord in different ways. Devotional service is such that the devotee's always thinking, I wish I had more time. There's not enough time in the day to serve. Thank you, Maharaj. We can see how tirelessly you serve every day. Um, Jyoti Mataji, she's expressing her gratitude and she says, um, Maharaj, I'm eternally grateful to you, Guru Maharaj. Please bless all of us. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare
There you go. We got Krishna another. Mataji, uh, we have a message from Renuka Mataji. Sure. And she is talking about, uh, she, so uh, I think Mataji is on the call and uh, she would like to bring a cake to cut on behalf of Maharaj. So, so is that okay, Prat Maharaj? She would like to do what? She would like to cut a cake, Maharaj, on your behalf. No, this is about Krishna. It's not about me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Renuka Mataji, are you there? Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Dandavak. It's about Krishna. It's philosophy. It's not about me. Yeah, uh, it's your birthday today, Maharaj. So we just wanted to, uh, um, on behalf of the whole Bangor family, we just wanted to cut a cake. Can we bring the cake, Maharaj? Yeah. Yeah, you can distribute it through all the devotees who are online. Uh, Yes, that's the plan. We're just coming, Maharaj. Uh, uh, Garland, Garland, Garland. You're not going to find you. Happy Krishna Conscious Birthday, Maharaj. Thank you so much for your wonderful 